Marcus Robert Johnson here. And while I got a couple minutes here, I just want to talk about having a good team. Having a good team. If there's anything you want to get done, any goal you want to get accomplished, it does take incredible structure, belief in yourself. And when I say belief in yourself, I mean, I mean, like, you have to want to do it. You know what I mean? Because, like, I believe, I believe I could be a world champion, but I have to want to do it in order to, 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 to really reach there. You might believe that you can't make it to work on time. But if you really want to get to work on time, you can do it. And when you have a good team, that just helps keep yourself focused and reminding yourself of the good things that you want. Because having a good team won't let you forget that you what you want to do is important. Having a good team won't let you be lazy. You know, you have to do those things yourself, but the days when you're having a bad day or the times when you're just in a bad groove, your team is there to back you up. So, and 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 that's that's why what you want to do, no matter what it is, you have to surround yourself with people that want to do the same thing. If you're in the streets selling drugs, but you want to be, but you want to you want to be making mo- good money the right way or you want to put your friends and family on, or if you want to get a good job, or you want to you want to get out of the hood, you have to change everything. It's not enough to know that those things. You have to change your surroundings. And that is that is why people are your greatest resource as well, because a good team will constantly remind you and will be on your case, they'll be on your back about the bullshit you're doing, more than less. You know what I mean? So if you, for a long time, have something you want to get done, and it's not getting done, and you feel like you've tried everything, you feel like you just can't get motivated, change the people that are around you. I was just in this awesome meeting today and he said, you're most like the, you're, and and I know this, but the way he said it was made more sense to me. And what he said was, uh, and I know like, again, you've heard this, but you're, you, you are like the, you are who the, the five people, the five closest people to you, that is who you are most like, that is who you will become more than less. So don't be number six. If you're around. Even if you're a drug dealer, you're in the streets or something. I'm just using drug dealer as a as a as a as a example. It could be anything. But if you're in the streets and you're doing shit and you feel like you can't get up out of that, and every everyone around you, including your friends, are drug dealers, you're never gonna get out of that because you don't have someone to push you. You don't. Every time you go to a negative spot in your head, you're gonna stay there because they're gonna help keep you there because misery loves company. And they might not even realize what they're doing, you know. When I the times when I stopped smoking weed and stuff, and people like, for you know, when I was kicking around my friends that did it heavily, I still tried to hang out with them. A lot of times they would ask me once, I'd be like, no. Nah. They might ask me twice, but then they won't ask me a third time. But even asking once is too much, especially when you're trying to quit something. And you have to change who you're around. If you're if you want success. If you want more than what you have and your circle of friends is laughing at you for trying to not be like them or if you or if you just can't get to that next level, you need new friends. You need to change your circle. And that hurts because we grow up with our friends. We love our friends. They have our back. They've been there. They know us. But I'm telling you, if you in your life need to get something done, and, you, and you've been trying for a while and you haven't been, maybe something like changing your team is what needs to be done.
being around good people, like-minded people. If you want to be a drug dealer in the streets and you want to have to look over your back all the time, worry about the police and jail and all these things, then surround yourself with those people. And that type of community is welcoming because it isn't misery. It is not fun. So the more people around that can comfort it is welcome. But to do great things is very hard, which is why most people quit. And if you want to do great things, you need a great team. You need a great state of mind, but you need a great team to back you up from when you're not your best on your day. Everyone has bad days, and that's what I'm getting at. When you're having a bad day, your team will bring you out of that. Your team can keep you focused. Remind yourself why you're doing something. And that's what you need to do. If you haven't, if, 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 if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, or what if what I'm saying you don't believe, then it, then I don't know what to say because it's 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 literally don't think too much about it. It's as simple as that. We're gonna try to rationalize it, we're gonna try to think this through like, no, my friends No, 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 no. Just stop. That team was the old you. That team is part of the past. And if you wanna go forward, if you wanna change what you're doing, you need a new one. You need new friends. I lost a lot of friends. Not, not not, friends in the sense that I can't call them and hang out. Not friends in the sense that if I ask them for help, they won't have my back. But as far as keeping up with them on a day-to-day basis, as far as calling them and see what they're doing, as far as just something around, like sitting around playing video games or going out, that's what I mean when I say I lost a lot of friends like that when I stopped being in the streets or when I stopped smoking weed and stuff. I, because they don't want to do what I want to do. I want to, you know... I, Boxing requires that I can't do a lot of the things I was doing. Being great in life requires that I can't do a lot of the things I did as a teenager, as a, as a young man, you know? And that's just, that's, that's the same with any man or woman. So again, I'm going to leave you with this. You need to change your surroundings if you want to change yourself. If your surroundings are a part of the past and you want to live and you want a brighter future, you cannot get a brighter future by living in the past. Your 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 your, your bad team is, is the past. Go forward and find a new one. Something I learned from Twisted Fitness. This is the this is the I want it to be the last thing I'll say. So right now this is Marcus Robert Johnson Boxing on Facebook. MRJ Boxing on Twitter. That boy tweak 428 on YouTube. Where you at, Justin Bieber? I ain't forgot about you, Bieber. I ain't forgot about you. I'm I'm getting this match, man. Share the video. Share all my videos. And now I leave you all with this. Do not. The reason most people fail instead of succeed is because they trade what they want at the moment for what they want most. You want your team in the moment, but what you want most is success. Don't trade a night of hanging out, doing things the wrong way, the bad way, when you can start your grind for the future now. This is Marcus Robert Johnson here.